With Kellen Mond leaving for the 2021 NFL Draft, Texas A&M will be looking for a new starting quarterback this year. Whoever wins the starting job will be surrounded by a team primed for a college playoff run. If Eli Stowers wins the job, he could bring athleticism to the team that has not been seen since Johnny Manziel. But who is Eli Stowers? In the Who is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If there's a player you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Eli Stowers grew up in Denton, Texas, just outside Dallas, Texas, and about a three and a half hour drive from College Station. Stowers attended Geyer High School, where he would take over the starting quarterback job as a sophomore, throwing for 1,563 yards, 12 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. He also rushed for 1,119 yards and 9 touchdowns, averaging 6.9 yards per carry. After the season, Stowers was named unanimous Texas District 5-6A Offensive Newcomer of the Year. That spring, Eli competed in track and field, competing in high jump, long jump, and in the relays. Stowers would win the state championship in 2019 with a PR of 7 feet. As a junior, Stowers would put on a show throwing for 2,885 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions, while rushing for 1,127 yards and 11 more touchdowns on the ground. He completed 65.1% of his passes while averaging 8.6 yards per carry. He would lead the Wildcats to the state championship game where they would match up against Austin Wesley. On the seventh play from scrimmage, disaster struck when Stowers took off on a designed quarterback run and was tackled awkwardly in the open field. Stowers told the Denton Record Chronicle, We called a lead draw. I read Cobb's block and went outside. The safety got off his block. I tried to bounce outside of him, but he got a hold of my right leg. I stepped with my left and it hyperextended. At the time, I didn't think he was going to be that bad. I tried to get up, walk on it, but I stepped and felt my leg shift. I sat back down, and I knew it was bad after that. Stowers couldn't put any weight on his left leg and was helped off the field later diagnosed with a torn PCL and a torn meniscus. Stowers spoke on the game saying, Obviously it was disappointing. Right after I stepped on it and I felt it shift, I was like, yeah. There's no way I'm coming back. At that point, all I could think about was trying to support my team from the sidelines, try to get their spirits up, and lead them through the game as best I could. Then, freshman Jackson Arnold was thrown into the game. That is a tough situation to be put in during the regular season, let alone in the state championship game. The Wildcats were unable to get anything going, finishing the game with a total of 187 yards, losing 24-0. Arnold spoke on Stowers' injury, saying, I was thinking he was invincible. Every time he got hit during the season, he'd get right back up. As soon as he got up and went right back down, I knew it was going to be pretty serious. Stowers had surgery on his leg 17 days later on January 7th, and then spent the next two months on crutches. Stowers told the Denton Record Chronicle, that was by far the worst part. After that, it was just getting my strength back in my leg to protect it. Getting my range of motion back was tough too. When you keep it straight for four weeks, it tightens up on you, and you can only bend it so far. You have to get that range back. He attacked rehab and used his faith to guide him through his tough time period. By the time summer conditioning came around, Stowers was able to participate virtually. Stowers told the Chronicle, Everyone knows my faith is the most important thing to me. I knew that God had made that happen for a reason. I knew he was going to get me through the rehab process. I feel like everybody has that when they get a big injury. You get that why me thought in your mind. Especially after you put all that work in the season. To get all the way to the state championship and get hurt on the first drive, it's really disappointing. And that's why I feel like God tests your faith sometimes. That was a big test for me, but in the end, it helped me grow in my faith a lot. During that time period, Geyer High School got a new coaching staff and Rodney Webb and offensive coordinator Jordan Johnson. They knew Eli was a special player the minute they started working with him. They talked highly about his leadership and how he could handle the huddle. Stowers would be fully cleared for football activities on September 1st, a week before the start of fall practice and nine months after his left leg injury. Rodney Webb told the Chronicle, I think he's hungry for an opportunity to finish the deal. He got right on the precipice of a state championship and to have it end that way has to be a really good motivating factor for him. Going into the season, Stowers was ready to lead the Wildcats back to the state championship game saying, I feel almost the best I've ever felt in my life. I'm in great shape right now and feel stronger than I've ever felt. This knee injury was tough at the time, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise. I ended up feeling really good after all that physical therapy. Guy returned a handful of Division I talent and looked to make another run at the state title. In his return to the field, Stowers threw for 199 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, and a win over Hebron. He would finish his senior season throwing for 2,497 yards, 
18 touchdowns and 12 interceptions, while also rushing for 1,078 yards and 18 touchdowns on the ground. Geyer finished the season going 11-3, losing in the semifinals of the state playoffs to Cedar Hill 27-17. Although they fell short, Stowers looked to translate his high school success to the next level. Coming out of high school according to 24-7 Sports Composite, Eli Stowers was a four-star recruit who was the 19th best quarterback, 30th best player in Texas, and 168th best player nationally. He received over 18 different Division I offers from the likes of Auburn, Clemson, Georgia, Oregon, and Texas A&M. Stowers runs like a running back and is nearly impossible to stop, bringing a Johnny Manziel-esque playmaking ability. Stowers would choose to commit to Texas A&M, staying relatively close to home, with College Station just being three hours away from Denton. Stowers stands at 6'4 and weighs 215 pounds, according to 24-7 Sports. Stowers has a rating of 9 for size and speed, 8 for playmaking ability, 7 for intangibles, delivery, and arm strength, and a 6 for pocket presence and accuracy. Gabe Brooks at 24-7 Sports believes Stowers is a future day 3 pick, with his comparison being Desmond Ritter. Brooks writes, A prototypical build for the quarterback position with great height and lean, athletic build. North of 200 pounds, but still owns plenty of frame space. True dual threat with impressive multi-sport athleticism profile that includes 7-foot high jump. Long striding speed builds with home run ability to, as a runner. Dangerous cutback runner. Has repeatedly shown the willingness to stand in the pocket and take punishment to the, deliver the proper throw. Generates plenty of downfield arm strength and short to intermediate velocity. Whips the ball around with snap. Drives the ball to the perimeter. Outside production as a passer and runner is an impressive junior campaign. Suffers significant knee injury in the final game of junior season. Generally overhead delivery, but release quickness consistency can improve. Pocket courage is great, but presence and awareness can still improve. Still throws flat-footed at times. Goes through erratic stretches, but accuracy has improved during his high school career. High ceiling quarterback with ample live reps against outstanding high school competition. Tools to become a multi-year high major starter with long-term NFL draft ceiling. Stowers decided to enroll early at Texas A&M and is a part of the quarterback competition with Zach Calzada and Haynes King. Calzada was Kellen Mond's backup in 2019, while King jumped him on the depth chart in 2020, making him the favorite to win the job. This is only Stowers' first spring as he played well in the spring game. Even if Stowers doesn't win the starting quarterback job this season, the coaching staff is very optimistic in how he will develop. He will most likely be the future of the Aggies. But what do you think? Who will win the Texas A&M starting quarterback job this fall? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.